Thank you, uh, Alti Moreno. Uh, thank you uh, uh, for the, the people here I got for, for me in, in Anaheim. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know for, for the, the people over there, I got thank you for, for support and me here. I got, you know, I got play every day over there. And, and here.
members of the Baseball Hall of Fame have a mythical quality to them. Vladimir Guerrero fits that mold perfectly. One of the best to ever don an Angels uniform, Vladimir Guerrero. With prodigious power. And hit the ball pole, home run number 400 for Vlad Guerrero, and it gives the Angels a lead. The ability to hit any pitch. Further proof of what everyone says about him, he can hit anything that's close enough to the plate to get the bat on him. And a cannon for an arm. And Bernie cuts him down. Right on the money, honey. Those fabled qualities help to make Vlad the first angel in Cooperstown. Congratulations to Vladimir Guerrero on your induction into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Enjoyed the off day last night, and today they welcome in the Oakland Athletics to kick off a three game set. Vladimir Guerrero bobblehead giveaway night, and a nice ceremony before the game as well. As we welcome you inside our broadcast booth and back to Angels Baseball here on Fox Sports West, along with Mark Gubiza, I'm Victor Rojas. And on Wednesday afternoon, as the Angels finished the sweep of the Detroit Tigers, the long ball was prevalent not just on Wednesday, but throughout the entire series against Detroit. Yeah, Victor, seven home runs in the series against the Tigers, and the game on Wednesday was worthy of a Carlos Cam replay. What we saw from the very first batter of the game in Cole Calhoun on the second pitch. He hits a fastball dead center field to get the home run barrage going for the Halos. Justin Upton doing what he does best at home, driving the ball, and Albert Pools followed it up also. 18 home runs in the last eight home games for the Angels. They're starting to play much, much better here at the Big A. They're going to need to do so against a very good club. The Oakland A's have been playing great. No Mike Trout in the lineup, but those power numbers have been very, very good at home of late. Hopefully that continues here tonight. Now you mentioned no Mike Trout placed on the 10-day DL. He'll be eligible to come off the DL on August the 16th. The Angels called up Akeel Morris to add some arms to that bullpen as Felix Pena gets the nod tonight against the left-hander Brett Anderson. We're just about ready for baseball here in Southern California. California. Sit back, relax, lineups, and first pitch when we return.
Embrace every new opportunity with a redesigned exterior and 31 Highway MPG. Test drive one today. By Mercury Insurance, we're on a mission to save you money. Log on to MercuryInsurance.com to get a fast free quote and see how much you can save. And by your SoCal Mazda dealers. Back out here at the Big A, a little bit of a delayed start with the Vladimir Guerrero ceremony before the game, but uh, Felix Payne is certainly not wasting any time as he wants to get this one going, and uh, I'd imagine that uh, most starting pitchers do when you've got to yeah. wait a little bit longer. Yeah, a little, your routine has <laughs> changed just a bit. Let's take a look at Bob Melvin's lineup game, number 116 for the Athletics, 68 and 47. They sit in second place in the West, four and a half back. It'll be Martini and left, Chapman at third, Lowry at second. Davis, D.H. Olsen at first base, Piscotti's in right, Canna in center, Simeon the shortstop, Lucroy behind the plate, and batting ninth. Felix Pena, 11th game, ninth start, 1 and 3 with a 4.97 earned run average. Nick Martini takes a fastball for a strike. First pitch brought to you by Carson Toyota. Martini hitting 280. Five doubles, a triple, eight runs batted in as that one's a little bit low. He was accounted a ball and a strike. And playing in his 26th game. It's being called up from triple A. Good numbers down there. He's a free agent in January. This one looped out the left field. Justin Upton is there. There's the first out of the game. My go to's today for Felix Pena to be successful in this. Oakland lineup is plus that movement on his fastball when he's run that two seamer he can run it inside very effectively and jam hitters throughout this game for Oakland and then finish him off with that curveball very good swing and miss rate with his curveball and even his changeup but especially his curveball out of the strike zone. Well, the other day Justin Upton on Wednesday was very very busy out in left field already action for him. Here's Matt Chapman third baseman. 270 batting average, 22 doubles, six triples, 15 home runs, and 38 runs batted in. And he's ahead of the count of two balls and no strikes. And he had seven putouts on Wednesday. That's busy on a hot afternoon game. Yes. Two and one. Chapman, the pride of El Toro High School, Cal State Fullerton. A's first round pick at 2014. It's a pretty good third baseman came in at high school. Two balls, two strikes. Great crowd on hand on this Friday night. People so excited coming into the ballpark to pick up that flag rare bobblehead and be part of the ceremony. Great job, partner, down there today. Thanks, man. Why do we keep picking August dates for these <laughs> events down on the field? Seriously. So it could be so cool and comfortable. Can I can I partake in these meetings? <laughs> Please. Chapman shoots one out toward right center field. Eric Young Jr. will pull up, and it's 1-0 Oakland. Chapman going the opposite way. His 16th home run of the season. The 155th hit by Oakland. And he has been swinging the bat well. Going the other way. With this warm evening, the ball is going to carry well. And this fastball this time is up. It's above the belt, but middle of the plate didn't run in on him. A little over 400 feet. Early lead for the Athletics, and here's Jed Lowry, switch hitting second baseman. They're looking at his drive. All star this year, hitting 265, 17 home runs, 68 RBIs. So an Oakland team that. Uh, so far in the month of August, hit 230. That's their eighth home run this month. They've been known to have played very good baseball late games. A lot of guys in their lineup, seventh inning on, with very good batting averages. So they feast on the bullpens. They got a pretty good bullpen themselves, and they just added to it with Fernando Rodney. This was line to right field, a one-out base hit. So a home run followed by a single. You're always dangerous because Davis coming to the plate. Elevated changeup. One thing for Felix Pena, you don't want to get this offense going for Oakland, especially when you don't have no Mike Trout, Shohei Otani not in lineup to start with tonight. Up.
Mike plays on the uh, DL as we mentioned at the start of the day. It's all downstairs. This is all right. Just can't kind of get to that next stop. Oh, Davis cuts through that pitch. Oh, and one. Not unusual for Chris Davis to be swinging at the first pitch. Quite a few home runs who had his career on the very first pitch. Shohei not playing with a left hander on the mound and Brett Anderson. You know, Middleton next to him. He's progressing well after his surgery. See, also, I saw down there J.C. Ramirez was yes. down there. Matt Shoemaker. Breaking ball lifted out to center field. Eric Young going back to the wall. And he'll leap up and he mistimes it. It's a home run for Chris Davis. 3 nothing Oakland. Davis hits his 33rd and now with 90 runs batted in. Cal State forward and product. Dead center field. And out over the plate. When these Oakland hitters can get their arms extended, they will do some damage to you. Just over the glove of EY Jr. in center field. Got up there real high, but over the glove for a two run home run. Olsen rolls it foul. A's first baseman comes in batting 235 with 22 home runs. 13th career home run for Davis versus the Angels. The Angels have pitched it pretty well this season. It's one home run. Batting average coming to that at bat is 143. One one lays off the breaking ball. Two on count. You know one person is happy that Shohei Otani is not on the mound. That's Olsen. <laughs> he threw some nasty splitters to him in a couple starts against Oakland this season. Had a tough time hitting Shohei Otani this season. Two one popped him up. Shadow left. Justin Upton calling for it. He's up there wild. Two outs. Oakland A's team that has gone 13 and 5 since the All Star break. And while I mentioned that 230 team batting average in August, uh, the pitching staff has been pretty incredible this month with a 1.40 ERA. And we mentioned that they, they just continue to add to that bullpen, stack up that pen. It was a pretty good pen to begin with. They just continue to add pieces. Yeah, that starting rotation is not going to overwhelm you necessarily. They'll give you a few innings here and there, but their bullpen is so deep, it's allowed them to come back in all these games. Steven Piscotti takes the strike. The right fielder comes in batting 253. Out towards center. Eric Young Jr. is there. Hayes with a couple of home runs here in the first. Stake themselves to a 3 0 lead as we head to the bottom of the first inning. One seventeen mentioned 
Even 500 at 58 and 58 will be Cole Calhoun leading things off and right. Fletcher's at second. Justin Upton at left field. Albert Pools will DH tonight. Angelson Simmons at shortstop. Jeffrey Marte gets to start at first. Jose Briseño behind the plate. Caleb Coward at third. And Eric Young Jr. batting ninth playing center field. That is the 30-year-old left-hander native of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Brett Anderson on the mound making his 10th start. First one is in there for a strike. And Anderson's coming off pretty good start against the Tigers. Yeah, fastball is 88-92 range. We'll throw a slider, curveball, and a changeup. A one. Cole cuts through it. No balls, two strikes. Calhoun at 214. Two doubles, two home runs, 12 runs batted in. Couple high fastballs right away from Anderson. Four seamers. Foul back. See the game plan against Cole Calhoun for Anderson. He's going to try to ride that fastball upstairs. My go to is to be successful here against Anderson is crushes fastball 338 versus fastball this season and other way mentality do not try to pull especially right handed batters is all speed pitches. Otherwise a lot of ground ball action on the left side of the infield stay back and use a big part of the field. Cole rolls it foul. The count remains at no ball two strikes. Oh, two. Down and away, breaking ball. Mentioned that start against Detroit. Longest outing of the season for Anderson. Seven innings, two hits, no runs, two strikeouts, one walk through 74 pitches. Reaching a Diamondback second round pick in 06 at a high school in Oklahoma. Started his major league career with Oakland. That's down and away. Two balls, two strikes. That was a big eight player deal back in 07 that included Carlos Gonzalez and Dan Heron. Among others. Still like to see some hitters in this lineup for the Angels. Take advantage of Brad Anderson's had some leg problems over his career. Try to push bunt or drag bunt. Make, make him field his position. Two two. And Cole goes down swinging for the first out. Check out the A's on the defensive side of things. The outfield has Martini in left, Cannon center, Piscotti in right, Chapman and Simeon on the left side, Lowry and Olsen on the right, Lucroy behind the dish. Talked about how well Chapman swung the bat there in the first. He's been outstanding defensively. 45 defensive runs saved over the last two seasons. That's second best in the majors, only behind Anderson Simmons, 48. Fletcher hitting one out to a shallow center field. Simeon going out. Canna can't see it, so fortunately Simeon had his eye on it the entire time. Two down. My Hyundai key for this game today for the Angels to be successful is to continue with that good feeling. Picking up that three-game sweep, swinging the bat, we're up well. A flow rider, good feeling, especially also the ceremony earlier today with Vlad Guerrero coming back to the Big A after that big, tremendous ceremony in Cooperstown. Another one here tonight. Two quick outs for Anderson. Here's Upton takes down it away. 255 average on the season. It's his 23rd home run on Wednesday. 65 runs batted in. It's been documented this year the uh, the struggles the Angels have had against left-handed pitching. Just the 224. Team batting average against lefties. And on the hands, one and two. Up and so good against lefties last season. 344 batting average with 12 home runs. It's 214 this season over versus lefty with four home runs. Two balls, two strikes. Mm. 
Eighth career start for Anderson against the Angels. One and three with a 3.76 ERA. Almost got the chase. Full count. Anderson hasn't faced the Angels since 2013, though. So make of those numbers what yes. you'd like. Pretty good velocity on this fastball early yeah. at 92, pretty consistently. 3 2. This one looped down the right field line. Piscotti moving over, and that is foul. It's kind of shading just in that way. Take a look at our stat cast AI powered by AWS, where Oakland is setting up. Their defense and where Justin Upton is it, especially majority of his baseball is on the ground. Most of that left side of the infield talked about going to that big part of the field, did so on that swing. 20% of his ground balls going that way, stayed back on that one very well. Remember, just a couple of nights ago, hit a home run the right field, two run home run. Pujols on deck, another 3 2. Upton hits one. Short, short. Simeon. Sound as if after got jammed at a 1 2 3 shutdown inning for Anderson. 3 0 Oakland. We're heading to the second. Jersey, courtesy of Pachanga Resort Casino. While supplies last, for more information, go to angels.com. Mark Canna leading things off, bottom third of the order for the Athletics. Six men to the plate, scored three times on two home runs. Chapman solo shot, Chris Davis a two run shot. Yeah, two home runs, three fly ball outs. He looks Pena when he's throwing the ball well, he's getting a lot of ground ball action. That's the fastball he's going to have to run in on some right handed batters that fastball that starts in the inside corner and runs off the plate to jam some hitters make them uncomfortable at the plate. Breaking ball rolled down the line foul. That's one and two. Over the years we've seen Canna play some right some left. Occasion first base some center field now. 256 average, 14 home runs, 42 runs batted in. Came over from the Marlins organization a couple of seasons ago. College teammate of Marcus Simeon at Cal. Now remains at a ball and two strikes. No strikeouts, no walks in that first inning for Pena. Everything hit in the air. 
Even Lowry single to right field, although not squared up, but able to get some loft underneath. It. That's a good fastball. That's where he needs to be, stay on top of that two seamer running in. Start middle of the plate, running in the inside corner. <laughs> Oakland hitters are able to keep their arms and getting their arms extended throughout this game. It's going to be a difficult task for Pena against them. And he got him with that breaky ball to set up, like you said, with that pitch inside. A couple of them, as a matter of fact. So important to be able to establish fastballs in. Because then it opens up that outer part of the plate. Otherwise, they're just tracking away against you throughout the entire at bat. Good swing and miss break of ball. Talked about that as far as go tos. You need that pitch. You get non strikes swing that, swung at, I should say. And that's exactly what happened there with Canna. Fastball missing upstairs to Marcus Simeon, the shortstop. 257. Seven home runs and 39 runs batted in. Just misses low. 2 0. Chris Siegel calling the balls and strikes tonight. Eric Cooper at first base. Stu Sherwater at second. Corey Blazer at third. That's ripped foul 2 and 1. And that's uh, put into a fastball count. When you look at the numbers versus Felix Payne this season versus his fastball. And you'll see some pretty good hacks by opponents against him. 298 versus fastball with four home runs coming in this game, but just a 143 batting average versus his curveball and his changeup. Out towards center. He wise right there. Two down. That's why you don't want to put yourself in a situation where if you're paying you being fastball counts. Jonathan Luke right the plate the catcher ninth place hitter 243 out towards center. Levi's got to go back on it. Boy, baseball is really kind Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I'm not sure I'm digging this trend right now for Felix Pena, but it's a one, two, three second. Outstanding numbers in his career with the Angels. 319 batting average from 2004 through 2009. Also, the Angels made the postseason five of his six seasons here. 
Also that big two run single in the ninth against the Boston Red Sox to finally advance past them in the postseason in 2009. That was a huge hit for Vlad to be able to come through in the clutch and eliminate the Red Sox in the postseason. Speaking of the Red Sox they're swinging the bat pretty good tonight. You think <laughs> they gave it away the 19 runs. <laughs> I thought that was the Patriots playing the Ravens. Four, five, and six for the Angels here in the second inning. Pujol, Simmons, and Marte. Anderson with a one, two, three first. Strikeout, pop up, and a ground out. Albert, 253. 18 home runs at 56 runs batted in. Albert looking for something middle middle in right now 3 1 count. Pulled toward the hole and short back headed by Simeon. One down. Now we talked a lot about Oakland and the way they've been swinging the bat especially seventh inning on but their defense for what we saw in the beginning part of the season certainly what we saw last year. They've improved quite a bit defensively. Now up at 984 fielding percentage towards the middle of the pack in the American League. They were down at the bottom last year and at the bottom when the Angels played a number of games against them early on. And they had 121 errors last year. That's the most in the majors. Oh one to Simmons and tight. Angels did hitting 310. One one now. Bouncer to third. Chapman tried to play the short hop and it ate him up. I'm not sure he really needed to play that short hop, but uh, the Angels will take it. First base run of the game for the Halos. Yeah, it's kind of jammed at it on that pitch. Try to catch that in between hop. Runs that in on him. It's not easy to get out of the batter's box. You see right there, a little bit of a stumble would have been difficult to beat out if he gets to it. Sometimes you can lay back on that one and make that play. As you see right there, Angels was barely out of the batter's box. But they'll take that break. Error on Chapman. That'll be his 13th of the season. Upstairs. Jeffrey Marte tonight getting to start at first base, hitting 213 on the season. 10 extra base hits, 15 runs batted in. Jeffrey's 62nd appearance in a game. One ball would strike. It's the 11th meeting of the season between these two teams. Angels six and four against the A's. In fact, their uh, their West record within the division, even as good as they've played, just 19 and 26. They've had their issues against the Astros, a little bit against the Mariners. Mentioned Angels record against as Marte flips it foul. One and two. Speaking of Seattle, they beat Houston back to back games now. That's a big four game series at Minute Maid Park. They beat Verlander and now Garrett Cole today for Seattle. Seattle finds himself now six back. Oakland at the start of the day, four and a half back of the Strohs. One, two. He's off. That's a pretty close pitch. Carlos Correa just got back for the Astros. Look like they disactivated him from the disabled list. They've been dealing with some serious injuries to star players on their team from Springer, Altuve, Correa. Jeffrey pulls it foul just wide of the bag at third. Simple back to first.
Jeffrey breaks his bat, rolls one over to Chapman, trying to turn a double play. And they do. Five, four, three, round the horn, double play. That'll do it for the Angels here in the second. No argument from the Angels. Curry and before the game the Angels honored Vladimir Guerrero for getting inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Now when I spoke to Vladdy before the game he said what he remembers most about being an Angel is playing meaningful baseball and winning and tonight we have a very special edition of Angels Weekly documenting Vlad's journey from the DR to Cooperstown with interviews behind the scenes footage as we follow Vlad and his family up to the Hall of Fame induction so make sure you don't miss that. Guys Gooby you were there what do you remember most? Oh, I'll about tell you him? what I, I had a smile on my face for three straight days just the energy that Vlad brought all the Hall of Famers around most ever at the ceremony it, it was so much fun and to see that class go in there 2018 some of the best players that I've seen compete in a long long time but Vlad what a special moment so many people from Dominican Republic came and visited and just had that energy with him check swing roller to Caleb there's the first out of the third inning. Well, they showed a uh, video here and that video if you go to Cooperstown is uh, plays at their theater it's about a 15 minute video and it's just a, just a fantastically well put together video. I mean just uh, if you're a baseball fan from Cal Ripken to Hank Aaron all show up as this was the ceremonial first pitch. Uh, definitely we make it easy brought to you by SoCal Toyota on that perfect throw by Vlad to Hardy. What a moment that was. That was so cool to be able to see that with Vlad. Tell you, it's a lot of work and a lot of stress on you as a, as a player to go through that. Out to left center field. Nobody's going to get this one. He would fall in there. Chapman with a home run already. Now adds a double. So a couple of extra base hits for the ace third baseman. Jed Lowry with a base hit, a run score to the first. Out toward left, toward the corner. Slicing away from Justin, he's there, makes the catch. Chapman goes back to tag, but he's not going anywhere. Still the right decision to do that, especially going for left fielder going back on a baseball. Chris Davis coming to the plate. Let's take a look at our top tier play brought to you by Arco. What he did in the first inning. 
against Gilch Pena. That was an all speed pitch. It got a lot of the strikes on out over the plate. Two run home run. The dead center field having an outstanding season. 90 RBI along with 33 home runs. He will be swinging first pitch. You got to really make sure you place it exactly where you want it. Davis started the day third in the American League with 32 home runs. J.D. Martinez leading the way with 35. Jose Ramirez with 33. You could stack up his power numbers with anybody in baseball over the last four or five seasons. J.D. Martinez did not homer today, but he did go two for five, or has gone two for five. Now with 100 runs batted, 101 runs batted in. And he leads Major League Baseball over the last three seasons as far as home runs. One in Stanton and Cruz. Overthrown breaking ball Chapman will take third of the wild pitch. Brisenio had no chance. And yeah, this is well out in front of the plate. You talk about overthrowing a breaking ball that just barely got to the dirt. Did a pretty good job of keeping that even close to him. Read off that throwing arm bicep area of your throwing arm. Even if you go to throw that baseball, it's going to be a difficult throw. Watch out. They got him. Just grazed that left shoulder area, it looked like. Nine times Davis has been hit this year. Runs that fastball inside and gets his shoulder. He was ready to swing at that pitch. 3-0. You see right there, he was loading up looking for a fastball and said fastball inside by Pena on him. Olsen bats with a couple of men on, takes a strike, and a fly ball to left field in his first at bat. Very good power. Seven career home runs against the Angels already in his career. Hands out over the plate, but brings his hands in very well on an inside pitch. Look at his numbers. Versus the fastball is compared to versus Pena's curveball and changeup. That's why you're seeing some off speed pitches. 252 with 13 home runs versus a fastball this season. Just 194 versus a curve and a changeup. Big difference between sitting on a fastball and trying to deal with a curveball and changeup from Pena. Inside. Two balls, one strike. Chapman over at third base. Davis at first. Two outs. Also cuts through it. A little bit late on it. Almost as if he was looking off speed. 2 2 count. Brissanio looking in. And let's make sure they have a sign given just in case Chris Davis is on the move. No stolen bases. It mainly the reason why he'd be on the move to try to draw a throw to second base. Angels worked the double seal just the other day very well on that one. Yes, he did. Look like he did. And he does get rung up at third base by Corey Blazer. 3 0 Oakland.
the Hall of Famer, even on a pitch in the dirt, still able to make good contact and get a base hit out of it. High fastball, it's going to be hit out of the ballpark. You bounce a break the ball, it's still going to be hit in the outfield for a single. Scouting report on Vlad, this pits to the next guy. Four finger wiggle. Yeah, <laughs> much easier now to point yeah. to first. For Samuel Coward and Young for the Angels here in the third inning, only base runner. Angels and Simmons reaching on the error by Matt Chapman. Briseño hitting 294, couple of home runs, seven runs bounded in. Two balls, no strikes. Right center field, a base hit. Good piece of hitting. And how often have we talked about that as far as an approach against a left handed pitcher? How important is that other way mentality? Even though it's a 2 0 pitch, you're looking out over the plate, line at the right center field. Target being set by Lucroy, stays back on it, Brasenio, and lines it for a base to the right center. You try to pull that baseball, ground ball to short. This is hit out towards center field. Going back on it is Canna. Makes the catch stepping onto the track as Caleb gave it a ride, but it's an out, the first of the third. So it's Eric Young coming up. Pretty good series against the Tigers, especially defensively. Yes. He went highlight reel. Had a dive to his left and right. Yep. Double play on that one baseball glove side. That was an, an unbelievable play. Also, Homer to center field. Side foul. And on the hands, we've seen that quite a bit already from Anderson through the first couple of innings. See if he stays with that pattern, something all speed away then for that fastball in. Levi goes down. Second strikeout for Anderson. Two outs. Went that all speed down and away. After that fastball in, span at the strike zone. Throughout his career, Cole Calhoun has done some serious damage on the first or second pitch. Might be looking first pitch fastball. Cole struck out the uh, bottom of the first inning 0 for 1. We're saying you over at first base three runs for Oakland in the first on two home runs Chapman a solo shot Chris Davis with a two run blast. Eric Young Jr. almost made a, another spectacular play out there. But he did. 1-0. Now toward right center field, his bell can going back, he pulls up, gone! Oh! Big fly for Cole Calhoun. The Angels get on the board, three to two, Oakland. Hey, Rod Victor, what he has done against left-handed pitching, how comfortable he is in the batter's box. Talked about how quick he is in the bat, doing some damage, first or second pitch, he got that second pitch. He homered second pitch on Wednesday, Homer to center. This one, the right center field. That's pretty good power. Now his hands right out over the plate. Good coverage. Baseball goes a long, long way for Cole. Right back in the game now. It's 
16th of the season now with 46 runs batted in. All three today homered since July 1st at the top as far as home runs. Fletcher breaks his bat and loops one out to center. It's a base hit, so he gets his first hit. Certainly not unusual when these two teams play. It's always generally a very close game. One run game once again between the two. Bob Melman has done a great job with this club turning around what we saw him in early June to now. Runs that fastball in, jammed him, falls in nicely for David Fletcher. Up to ground it out his first time up. Four hundred and twenty one foot home run for Cole Calhoun. The Angels now have homeward in nine straight home games. And in that total of nine games, 19 home runs. Justin Upton has homeward in two straight. Two, two home run, two run home runs. Angels are seven to one over the last eight games here at home. Swung to bats well, scored some runs. Certainly in stark contrast to what they were doing at home at the start of the season. As a matter of fact, it's reverse now the struggles out on the road the fouls it off that, oh, was two. A, that was a pretty good pitch right there for Justin up you can see his reaction you know oh he had it he can either pull that one or even hit that one the right center field 92 just above the knees Pretty big lead there for Fletcher. Thinking the same thing. Anderson with 22 career pickoffs. Luke Roy has thrown out 26% of base dealers. He's allowed 57 stolen bases and 77 attempts against them. Oh, 2 Good foul. Good battle now. Second time through the order for Brett Anderson. We're going to three hits here in the third inning. Two singles and a home run. Cole's home run against Anderson is third. It's a left-handed pitcher this year. Also his 12th career home run against Oakland. Chases it, it bounces towards Simeon and short. Off down his throw, and Upton is called out. He doesn't think so. That's a big target at first base. Yeah, it doesn't seem I like Olsen believes his, it either. Yeah, I don't know if he got his foot back down on the base. He's a big man. They're using the first base will be already walking off. Safe. Yeah, I think it's worth the challenge, especially bringing up Albert Pools. The two runners on here. Keep it going. Right there is where the ball hits. It's yeah. where the ball hits the webbing of the glove in relation to the foot touching the base. That toe looks like it's just on the base as the baseball is being going in the glove. I, I think he still gets it by just a little bit. Is it enough, though? You know, depending on the angle. Yeah. But it was surprising that Olsen stayed right there right away. That is a big target for first base. There's a good angle.
a lot of times you'll see the, the team walking off the field if they see a replay of it. Everyone's kind of hanging around. It's going to be a tough call. I don't think they're going to overturn it, Gubin. Yeah, now that I've seen it a couple different angles, call stands. <laughs> the old crutch. Yeah. Oh, no return. I think Olsen really doesn't happen often when yeah. you see the defender, the first baseman, not moving. Good hustle there by Justin Upton to beat that one out. That's going to be credited with an infield base hit. Yeah. So two on, two outs. The inning continues. Pools at the plate. And Albert grounded out to lead off the second. Stretch at home. The game has been very good with runners in scoring position. 370, a chance right now to tie it up. Coming into this game, 27 for 73. Last eight home games. Martini drifting back onto the almost to the world jack makes the catch for the third out gave it a ride but stays in the yard Cole Calhoun gets the Angels on the board with another home run his 16th of the season boy you talk about someone swinging the bat exceptionally well Cole has been crushing it They want a nice night here. Yes. Yeah. Vlad Guerrero, Hall of Fame bobblehead. Pre game ceremonies. Scotty takes a strike to lead off this fourth inning for Oakland. Three two A's. Scotty, Canna, and Simeon. By the way, Vlad Jr. is homered in three straight games in Buffalo. Triple A now. It's pretty good. Yeah. You think? He's got a chance to stick around. Yeah, he's got a shot. Piscotti a fly ball to center field his first time up. Pretty good pitch. Doesn't get called. It's two and one. Pena two strike counts, no walks, a hit batter, five hits allowed, two of which were home runs. 
When that fastball is a good run action. You have a hitter looking for a fastball, got a fastball, but it runs in on the handle of the bat. Breaking ball gets him. Ball away. Hey, join us this Sunday, 107 first pitch. Angels taking on the Athletics to wrap up this series. The first 10,000 kids in attendance get the uh, youth trout jersey courtesy of Angels Radio AM 830. While supplies last, for more information, go to angels.com. Cannon struck out leading off the second. Takes inside. Into the dugout. And now. And there for a strike. Marcus Simeon on deck. Call strike three. A little bit of a delay there. I was going to say that was a pretty good pitch. Yeah. Upstairs, upper part of the strike zone. It's kind of like our eight second delay. Just in case. Just in case. Two down. <laughs> Runs at 93 was a good move at upper part of the strike zone. Call third strike. Kind of a three second delay. Yeah. Back to back strike outs. Pena delivers a strike to start off this at bat. Simeon, who to fly ball to center in a second. That's still one of the best, whether you're a pitcher or a hitter. Where was that pitch? Uh, I called it a strike. Okay. Pretty much sums it up. Oh, <laughs> uh, you have no idea how many times I would run upstairs after an inning and ask uh, our video coordinator, "Where was that pitch?" Out to right field. Cole's got to come in on it. A one-two three for Pena. I'll have to tell you next thing. It, it's amazing you guys yeah. could rewind those beta tapes that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. See your Hyundai dealer today. By Carl's Jr., the Western Bacon Cheeseburger is calling your name, little buddy. Pick it up. And by your Southern California Cadillac dealers. Halos are down 3-2 as we begin at the bottom of the fourth inning. Nice top of the fourth inning for Pena. A couple of strikeouts and a flat ball to right. 
Second time he's retired to sign an order. Let's see what the Angels can do here. The fourth with Simmons leading things off against Brett Anderson. Simple reach on the air by Chapman in the second. Oh, for one. Anderson working at a very quick pace. Stays right on that pitching rubber. Something I remember Kurt Young used to be the pitching coach for a lot of years. That's what he always preached working quickly. He of the San Francisco Giants now. Percentage of pitches for Anderson coming in this game 48% fastballs, 28% slider, 9% curve, 16%. Changeups around the strike zone pretty much so far tonight. 35 strikes and 53 pitches. That's a called strike three. Off speed on the inside part of the plate. Anderson picks up his third strikeout. One out here, the fourth. Pretty close pitch. It's one of those break of break of balls right on the inside corner. Tight little slider. It's not easy to strike out Anderson Simmons. It's one strikeout for 19.1 at bats, plate appearances. Arte Flares went out to right field, and Piscotti comes in, goes into a slide, makes the catch for round number two. Jeffrey's 0 for 2 tonight. Scotty, eyes are still head, still able to slide in there. Under control. Track that baseball very well, slides in and makes a nice play in right field. Great story he is. You know, with the passing of his mother during the season. Been an inspiration for a lot of people, including his teammates, City of Oakland. Sanyo cuts through the first pitch fastball. Jose with a base hit. Last inning, one for one. The ball's two strikes. It's an interesting three guys that the Angels will face this weekend. Brad Anderson tonight, Edwin Jackson tomorrow, Trevor Cahill on Sunday. It's like a, a rewind here. <laughs> All three have thrown the ball well for Oakland, too. There's Edward Jackson. He's played a lot of years for a lot of different teams. Does he have the record now? He surpassed, uh, who was it? Yeah, I think he has the record. Ties the record. Tavio Dotel. Dotel broke it. It was, uh, was it Mike uh, Morgan? Mike Morgan. Saying you chase that high fastball, and Anderson responds with a 1 2 3 inning himself. We're off to the fifth. Oakland leading.
Hall of Fame merchandise as the celebration continues. Items include shirts, hats, pins, and more. They're all available until supplies last. I'm excited where the fans were when he walked out on the field during the ceremony tonight. It's the standing ovation for Vlad. He was uh, definitely moved, that's for sure. He was very nervous to uh, address the crowd in English. Glad he did. And he was done until I said, uh, do you want to say something in Spanish? Yeah. You should say something in Spanish. That's what he did. It's it great. Basically repeated what he had said. Yeah, he's one of the all-time best. He's just a great guy. Lou Croy, Martini at Chapman. Pretty impressive. The first Dominican Republic born player, position player to make the Hall of Fame. There'll be um, plenty more when yes. it's all said and done. But it's always impressive to be the first one to do so. Lou Croy gets jammed, rolls one over to Fletcher. You see, Brad is still so young, too. You always think of Hall of Famers, you know, they've been around for a while and finally getting in there, but Brad is still so young. So you're saying he shouldn't have stopped playing? That's what you're saying? No, you're he, happy uh, that he's done playing? No, he, uh, he took that body to the limit. Wow. He Glad played he extremely hard all the way to that last at bat. 43 years old now. Nick Martini 0 for 2 of the fly ball to left. Ground ball to third. Ball on a strike. Every time I hear that name, I'm thinking it's a wonderful life. Nick Martini? Martini? Nick? Yeah, Martinis. Just random thought for you. I, I say the name and it just neat comes up. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm thinking of, of George Bailey. Yeah, we're going two different ways, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> two on count. By the way, ball. Andrew Bailey sent me a text saying, Victor never doubted on that replay, on that one play. I didn't Felt doubt him. <laughs> I'm glad they challenged him. I just wasn't sure. I don't. I don't trust those making the decisions. <laughs> That's the fact. Yes. Full count with one out. Chapman on deck. Already with a couple of extra base hits. Dribbler yeah. has it. Two down. Back to back ground ball outs for Felix Pena. Jamba with a home run of the first inning, doubled in the third. Now nine for 26 against the Angels this year. Two doubles, a triple, three home runs. Eight runs batted in. Both teams with four hits. All runs scored via the long ball. That's a fastball thrown from a pitcher to a hitter that's had pretty good success against him in the first two at bats. He aimed that fastball. Same thing there.
And to Chapman's credit, he's not chasing that pitch out of the strike zone. Top of the zone. Or close enough. Full count. Gets that call. Looked like it was above the strike zone. It was breaking the ball to get over strike one. How back. He had a pretty mighty cut at that one. He's seen the baseball very well out of the hand of Felix Pena. That one had enough off of it where he was out. He got that off the end of the bat. Fortunately, big contact. I think a good fastball at the knees away would be good. But you got to make sure it's down, not up. Looks like he's going to run a fastball in. Foul back. Just to our left. Another 3 2. We'll line this one to right field. Cole is there. A 1 2 3 fifth. Seventh straight retired by Pena. 3 2 Oakland. For a post-game screening of an exclusive Mike Trout documentary, go to angels.com slash promotions for details. Caleb Coward saw one pitch in his first at-bat, sees one pitch here in his second at-bat, grounds out to start this fifth inning. Pretty good view of that arm strength that Chapman has at third. A little off-balance throw, but it got a lot on it. So uh, Coward, who runs well down the line, off-balance, firm throw, gets him uh, quite a bit. Also playing up a little bit more so there to take away that push bunt by EY. Especially with a lefty is going to fall towards the third base side of the pitching mound. Pulled the third, Chapman grabs it before it heads out in the outfield grass, robbing Young of a base hit. Two down. Cole coming to the plate. He's one for two. He homered his last time up. Right, what a swing that was against Fred Anderson. Hands are right out over the plate. He's got that good balance. A little bit more of a leg kick that we saw earlier in the season where he was so concerned, concerned about the launch angle. Gets that baseball out in front. Barrel the bat towards the front of the plate and he drives that one well out to right center field. So the leg kick, the timing, the barrel the bat out in front. Way more consistent since coming back from that disabled list. 
This one's out toward left center field. Martini moving over and he'll make the running catch for out number three. The Angels down in order. Five complete. Oakland still on top. Toyota dealers, by City National Bank, a proud sponsor of Angels Baseball, and by the 2018 Subaru Forester, a whole lot to love. Top of the sixth here on this beautiful Friday night, a warm one. The Angels down 3-2. Lowry, Davis, and Olsen coming up for the Athletics. Pena has settled in. Seventh straight retirement. It's hitting Chris Davis. Gave up a couple of home runs in the first. It's a real big inning. This part of the lineup against Felix Pena here into the sixth inning now. Just missed upstairs. One ball, one strike. Lowry is one for two. Singled and scored the first. Hit a fly ball to left in the third. Angels with action in their bullpen as Pena is just at 77 pitches. Oakland also with action in their bullpen, but. Uh, it's kind of been their plan now with yeah. all the uh, arms that they've acquired. They started to go five innings, six innings maybe. Shorten the game. Really start started with Tony Russo with Oakland back in the day when it's shortened up the game as far as the bullpen. Very deep bullpen led at the end by Dennis Eckersley, the Hall of Famer. Rick Honeycutt was big in that as far as the tough lefties late. Was it Gene Nelson? Hey, it's quite a few very solid arms in their bullpen for Oakland. Lowry lifts one out toward left center field hit well Eric Young Jr. Out of the track makes the running catch for the first down here in the sixth. Chip Johnson. Jose Alvarez. Davis Sky went out the left field. That baseball is up there a long time. Two down. Stay tuned during the seventh inning stretch for the Arco game break with Patrick O'Neill and Jose Moda. Fifth put out tonight for Justin Upton. Seven Wednesday afternoon game for Justin Upton. So busy last two games out in left field. Two balls, no strikes. Olson, 0 for 2, a fly ball to left and a strikeout. Four strikeouts overall for Pena. No walks, a hit batter, five hits allowed.
potential last batter now for Felix Pena. Also, we'll be swinging. Oakland is very good as far as tracking it with the green light here. Good pitch. Break a ball. Upstairs, upper part of the strike zone. Three one. Olsen hits one back up the middle, the two out base hit. But he fall behind three and zero oh after getting the first two outs, asking for a little bit of trouble. That's a wise decision by Olsen. As soon as he made that turn around first base to head back quickly, once that baseball gets back into Anderson Simmons, he was turned around to throw back to first base. That's gonna be it for Pena. It looks like 86 pitches. That's Piscotti coming to the plate. Clearly Felix not happy about it. Never seems to be very happy when he comes out of the game early. And I like that. Yeah. You want to be out there deep in a game. Baseball on Fox Sports West is brought to you by the Pacific Surfliner. The Surfliner series between the Angels and the Padres is coming up in San Diego August 13th through the 15th. Book your train tickets now on PacificSurfliner.com. Two outs here in the uh, sixth inning. Jim Johnson called upon to get that third and final out. Nice job by Felix Pena settling down after getting kind of uh, bombarded with a couple of home runs in the first inning. Ended up striking out four, six hits overall. One hit batter. He's responsible for Olsen at first base. This pitching change brought to you by Purple Bricks. To Scotty Skying went down the line, slicing out of play. Quite a few batters on both teams that are swinging early in counts. That always seems to happen, though. A guy comes in and out of the bullpen. Yeah, you're thinking first pitch, first pitch. fastball, anyhow. Yep. You want to get ahead of the count. 44th appearance for Jim, 3 and 2 mark at 320 ERA. Spent some time with the DL this year with a lumbar issue. Oh, 2. Piscotti, fly ball to center, struck out of the fourth. Off the plate. <laughs> Chopper to third. Caleb's got it. Goes a short way. And they force out also it made it interesting, but the third out is recorded. We'll head to the bottom of the sixth. Halo's down a run.
63 pitches. Five innings, four hits, four strikeouts, no walks. What did he throw? Four pitches in the uh, fifth inning? Way too many. That's it. Must be exhausted. Yeah. Yes. It's a warm night. The old five and fly. But when you've got the bullpen at Oakland does, why not? This will be Lou Trevino's 47th game. Eight and one with a 1.29 ERA. 11th round pick by the Athletics in 2013. This is his first season in the big leagues. That's a moving fastball, upper 90s. 95 to 100 miles an hour. It'll cut his fastball. Curveball changeup. One ball, one strike on Fletcher. That's a lot of decisions out of the bullpen. Nine. Two on down. On the corner. 98. It's a tough pitch to hit, too. Yes, sir. I think it's impressive about David Fletcher. He'll choke up on that bat. He'll put his baseball in play, especially if it's a fastball he got on the outer half. He's going to run it in now. Chopper down the line. Chapman's got it. Fair ball. Off balance throw. And not going to get him. Off the glove of Olsen. Fletcher will reach. Heck of an effort by Matt Chapman at third base. That's reminiscent of Brooks Robinson in the World Series against Cincinnati with Lee May going down the line. A little different runner, though. David Fletcher going down the line. Fields his baseball. It's right over the base. He's well in foul territory. Got a lot on that throw. Pretty accurate throw also. But Fletcher beats it out. And a stretch by Olsen, just one of those tough in-between hops, unable to get to it. Fletcher's going to beat that in anyhow, but what a play, though, by Chapman. Upton lifting one out toward left field. Martini going back onto the track at the wall. Gone! Big fly, Justin Upton. Halos lead it 4-3. Third straight game with a home run for Justin Upton. Third straight with a two-run home run. First time he's hit home runs in three straight games since he hit four straight back in May. 24th home run of the season. The Halos now up by one against Oakland. Brought his hands inside on that fastball. When you get a firm fastball like that, just get the barrel on it. He's providing the power. And Upton hits that ball out a long way to left center field. Towering shot to left field. 160 home runs now for the Halos on the season. Not no decision for Brett Anderson. And Pujols pulls this one to left field, a base hit. Single home run, single for the Angels to start the sixth inning. And that's hit number 1,000th as an Angel for Albert Pujols. Second player ever with a thousand hit with one team and two thousand with another. Eddie Collins was the other with the A's and the White Sox. Baseball going in and Albert Pujols. Congratulations on that one. One thousand hits. As an angel, the machine keeps rolling. Twelfth angel to collect his one thousandth hit. Brought his hands inside on that baseball also. Now 3,073 hits for Albert. Matt Guerrero also on this list as far as 3,000 in both leagues. Nine players in MLB history to do so. Hamilton Simmons takes a fastball upstairs. Perfect night for Albert to do so with Vlad here. Home run allowed by Trevino, the fourth that he has given up in 47 games.
Watch out. A little run to it. 2 and 0. Oh. Simmons 0 oh for 2. Reach on the error in the second and he struck out looking at the fourth. Upton. Three straight games with a two run home run. His shot is short. Simeon has it though. It turned into a 6 4 3 double play. Two outs. Hit well, but right at Simeon. Got a fastball hit on a 2 0 count. Lines it one, hops it to him. So here's Jeffrey Marte. Double play ball in the second, a fly ball to right in the fourth. Top of the order, very successful here tonight for the Angels. Five for nine, three runs scored, two home runs. Remember just the other day, it was the bottom of the order. Putting up some serious numbers. Getting balance. Continue that hot streak as far as hitting the baseball and hitting the ball out of the ballpark at home. Yeah, Petrosian getting ready for the seventh. One to one. Two and one. Back to my Hyundai key for this game. Try to carry that good feeling from that series against the Tigers into tonight and also with Vlad being honored before the game. So far so good. The Angels now with a lead after being down three to nothing in the top of the first. Two two. Full count. I believe he's going to do that cutter or, or slider away now. Even on a three two count. So Marte to chase that pitch twice well out of the strike zone. See if Jeffrey could bring that in the strike zone. Grounds this one over to short. He did chase it again. And that'll do it for the Angels. Bought a single by Fletcher. Justin up to the two run blast. Second hit of the night, giving the Angels the lead.
Mobile, J.D. Martinez with two in scoring position. Well, they're not in scoring position anymore because they just scored 101 RBI on the season now for J.D. Martinez. At one point, Baltimore led that game 8-3. to three. Boston ended up winning 19 to 12 as the Patriots beat the Ravens tonight. Mookie Betts had another ridiculous game. Sitting in the 350 range now. Campa Droge takes over, 56th ball game, 3 and 2 mark, a 3 4 to ERA with the Angels on top, 4 3. Oakland here, the seventh, will have the bottom third of its order up in Canna, Simeon, and Lucroy. Jim Johnson, a third of an inning. He's the pitcher of record. Arcana tonight struck out twice, once swinging, once looking. It's a pretty good break of ball. Doesn't get called a strike. One ball, one strike. Last pitch on Monday. Two thirds of an inning and down with your 10 pitches. Can a lines went out to center field, lead off single. A little more of a hanging breaking ball on that one. This copyrighted telecast is presented by Authority of the Los Angeles Angels and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. What well, if that's more of a product? You throw that good breaking ball the pitch before you thought it was a strike. Ends up being called out of the strike zone and you're trying to throw a breaking ball for a strike the very next pitch. Gets a little bit too much in the strike zone and Cannon lines it to center field. Good piece of hitting by him. Semia takes a strike. We were talking earlier about how well this Oakland A's team has played late in games, coming from behind. They lead the American League team batting average 269 from the seventh inning on. They've got six regulars that have hit 261 or better. That's a, that's amazing. From the seventh inning on. You're dealing with some great arms at this point of the game, generally. Semia fouls it back. 0-2. With that, they've carried a 347 on base percentage and an 830 OPS. Simeon has rolled into 10 double plays. See if Ken can get a ground ball at you know, Simmons here for a double play. Go two. Out to right. Cole going back. Near the track will haul it here. Earlier, that might have been serious trouble. That's but pretty good first power out. to go the other way. <laughs> this pitch, a lot of the strike zone reaction by Cam, and it's all he can do is hope that Cole can get back to that baseball and catch that, and he did so. He's got to remember that as a pitcher. If you're going to throw that fastball, you got to make sure it's down. Out over the plate, hitters can still make good contact, and that's exactly what Simeon did. Jonathan Lucroy at the plate. Breaking ball for a strike. Number nine hitters 0 for 2. A fly ball to center and a ground ball to Fletcher at second. Lucroy is grounded to seven double plays this season. Fastball. Lower part of the zone doesn't get the call. 101. Oakland with three runs on six hits, one error, three left on. The Angels four runs, seven hits. Two men left on base. Taylors will have Briseño Coward Young due up in the seventh. Otani is available. On the two. 
at that dangerous spot upstairs again. And Lucroy, throughout his career, has hit that pitch very well to right center field. And he was on that one. And his reaction should tell Cam make sure you locate that fastball better this pitch, especially now ahead of the count one, two. One, two. Ground ball to second. Fletcher to Simmons. Out of the that first. Play. He's hit into a couple of them this year. And that'll work, get you out of this top of the seventh inning. Halo's on top for three. Time now for the Arco game break with Patrick O'Neill and Jose Moto. New pitcher on for the Oakland Athletics here in the seventh will be Fernando Rodney the one and only the former angel just acquired from the Minnesota Twins. The Fernando Rodney experience and <laughs> that it is Kuby. Yes it is. Still has a firm fastball it's 94 98 break of ball but a very good change up and always interesting on the mound. And still a fan favorite here. Yeah. Now 41 years of age, native of the Dominican Republic. 325 career saves for Fernando. With the Halos in 2010, 2011. The DRA is a 4.24 and 4.50. Round 46 games with the Twins, 25 saves, 3 and 2 with a 309 earned run average. Briseño, Cowart, Young due up for the Angels. Trevino went uh, one inning, three hits, including the home run to Upton. Two runs, both earned. Briseño singled and scored in the third inning, struck out in the fourth. Pulled foul, one ball, one strike. Trevino did not strike out a batter nor walk one. It's pretty good at bats against the guy with such great numbers this season. Including that two run home run by J.O. Caught the corner. Briseño doesn't like the call. Two and two. Always one of those ones as a catcher, you go, okay, all right. I want my pitchers to get the exact same call the last couple of innings. Foul back. 
that changeup. He's got a real good changeup. Remember, over the years, he can get back into counts with his changeup. Times erratic with his fastball. Daniel rips it foul. Pretty sure you weren't thinking you were going to get a baseball all way down there. Listen to the second level of seats in left field. Turn on that pitch. Tyler Skaggs making that play. Right hand though. Tyler may be making the start tomorrow. Yeah, he's starting tomorrow. to center field. Tana is there. Good at bat by Brusseño, but doesn't get anything out of it. One down. Hey folks, MLB.tv is now available at a lower price for $49.99. Watch every out-of-market regular season game. Plus, get a free subscription to MLB at bat premium. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Go to MLB.tv to take advantage of the special offer. Caleb Coward has seen two pitches tonight. He's 0 for 2. Fly ball to center and a ground ball to third. Spins around to hit from the left side. Caleb 4 for 21 from the left side. 1 for 11, including tonight from the right. One two off speed bouncer to the right side. Lowry with the shift down is able to retire Caleb two down. And Eric Young Jr. coming up the Angels have Justin Anderson loosening in their bullpen to face Oakland in the eighth inning. It's the top of the order coming up for the A's. Martini Chapman and Lowry. One count on one. EY struck out in the third, lined out to Chapman in the fifth. Two, moving his feet. I don't know how it missed him. This is well off the inside corner, right at the legs. Able to get out of the way. Pulls it 
throws it foul. Not unusual for this these two teams to play so many close games since 2002 about half the games the two runs one or two runs as far as the separation between the two teams so many close games. Halo's leading the season series. So far and he went around on that one. He went, tried to hold up. And Fernando Rodney has himself a one, two, three, seven. We're headed to the eighth. Angels with a one run lead. Back in that game to beat the Nationals, first time they met. It's the rematch of the 2017 ALDS. Seattle wins Game Two of this four-game set against Houston with three-run, two-run double and a three-run eighth inning by Nelson Cruz. They went five to two. And Colorado comes back with a two-run home run from Brian McCann against the Dodgers. The Rockies even up that series at one apiece. They win that one five to four. A little scary situation with Kenley Jansen. Yes. Second time he's had to deal Ray with this. Ray hopes that everything's yeah, okay. That's sure. very scary. Dealing with the irregular heartbeat situation. Might miss up to a month, if not more. We'll see how that goes. But uh, hopefully, most importantly, the health. Yes. First and foremost, Justin Anderson takes over here in the eighth inning with the Angels on top, 4 3. Pitched on Monday against the Tigers. Went one inning, had a couple of strikeouts. 42nd appearance, 3 and 2. Even three ERA. He's got the top of the order for Oakland. Martini looks at a strike. Pretty amazing. You know, 42nd appearance you just mentioned. Remember that first is debut in the major leagues in Houston. Slider foul back. No balls, two strikes. One and two. Two balls, two strikes. Imagine now we'll throw a slider here. Two two count. Challenging with a fastball, 98 mile an hour fastball. Chapman on deck. Jed Lowry to follow. Got him with a high hard one. 
the eight. One down. It's good to see him using that fastball more. It is a firm fastball with movement. Runs out an upper part of the strike zone, swing and miss, and late movement. Gallo with a home run, double and a fly ball to right. That's a guy who had his mind made up. He's yep. swinging first pitch fastball. And he saw that as he was walking up from the on deck circle, 98 mile an hour fastball thing. I better get that back going early. And he did. And he chased the slider. Oh, and two. You see a guy that far off the plate. He's kind of opening up that outside part of the yeah. plate. Unless you've got Dave Winfield type coverage. Yeah. The, the pitch he'll hit away will be an elevated right. fastball. Be very hard to catch up to a firm fastball that far off the plate when it's at the knees away. Or a good break of ball that it's a non strike. Hi. Yep. Fastball again, yeah, fastball away. And he was doing something before the game with Charles Nagy as far as a little drill to get better extension as he delivered a fastball. It's pretty interesting watching him do that today. And you can see the extension he's getting on that delivery of the fastball, and it's firm. Out in front, off the fingertips with movement. Two outs, nobody out for Lowry. Takes a strike. Lowry one for three. Halos will have the top of their order coming up at the bottom of the eighth. One one. Two and one. Chris Davis, the man on deck, three and one. I right, get this guy right here, leave Davis, Davis on deck. Two quick outs via the strikeout for Justin. Four, three, Angels. Full count. Good follow through on that one. Did not overthrow. Long look in. Sometimes the catcher will just make you look in and shake off when you're going with a fastball, anyhow. Three, two. Check swing, he went around. Yes, he did. Justin Anderson strikes out the side. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth inning with the Halos up one.
Kelly, the new pitcher for the Athletics. Hey, stay tuned for Angels Live postgame show presented by your SoCal Mazda dealers. Sean Kelly, one of the new acquisitions coming over from the Washington Nationals. This will be his second appearance with Oakland. He's gone two thirds of an inning this far. With Washington, he was 1 0 with a 3.34 ERA in 35 games, 32 strikeouts, five walks, and 32 and a third innings, but had a uh, a little minor blow up on the field. What was that blowout game? Who was that against? I'm trying to remember, I know Atlanta? what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I think it's Atlanta, Atlanta, right? Yes. And wasn't happy about uh, something, threw the glove down the ground. The Nats got rid of him. Oakland scooped him up. Given the uh, Cliff Notes version. That's first pitch inside. Cole. One for three with a home run. Yeah, fastballs 90 to 94 range. He throws a lot of sliders, percentage. About 47% of his pitches are sliders. So fastball slider. Bouncer to the right side. Jed Lowry's there. One down. Good Fletcher. Fletcher takes a strike. David, two for three today. A couple of singles. A run score. He's also popped down. Back toward the mound, knocked down by Kelly. A little bit of a bobble, and still got him. He tried to cool breeze that one a little bit, and then realized Fletcher's getting down the line pretty quickly. Two yeah. down. Fletcher plays the game the way you're supposed to play. Everything you hit, you run down that line as hard as possible. A very close play. Had some spin on that baseball sometimes. That's the most difficult one to field. Is that slow roller back at you? A little bit of a bobble and just gets him at first. Uh, Mets, uh, the game that Kelly had his issue was with against the Mets, not the Braves. Either way, he's now an Oakland Athletic. Up to pops it up. Jed Lowry calling Fort Angels down in order. We head to the ninth today. Halo's up a run.
while the Angels have action going in their pen. So uh, see what goes on here. Davis Olson Piscotti. So it could be just a, a three pitcher situation for Mike Sosha to match up. Blake Parker and Jose Alvarez getting ready. Davis a two run home run of the first hit by a pitch in the third a fly ball to left in the sixth takes downstairs. The breaking ball that was a tight breaking ball not overthrown. One one breaking ball locked him up one and two. Here comes the one two slider check swing. Did not go. He looked like he held up on that one. Right pitch to throw. Home run that Davis hit back in the first inning is 33rd. Now with 90 runs batted in. Tight break of ball, able to hold up on that swing or non swing. Two two breaking ball. This is low full count. It's pretty good take. Olson on deck more than likely gets Alvarez. Three two got him with a breaking ball gets out of the glove of Briseño he'll apply the tag one down four straight strikeouts for Justin Anderson Mike Sosha is going to the bullpen play matchup nice outing for Justin Anderson four up four down with four K's Jose Alvarez coming on to relief with one out here in the ninth. What a performance in his inning in a third tonight. 
it's Chris Davis to get the first down. So Jose comes on to try to get uh, Matt Olson. This will be Jose's uh, 59th game. Four and three with a 2.83 earned run average, 47 plus innings, 44 strikeouts, and 20 walks. Got one batter to get. Blake Parker loosening. And Steven Piscotti on deck. Also rolls it foul. Big first baseman, one for three, had a single in the sixth inning. Ball on a strike. Also hits one of the right side. Fletcher with the shift on. Has it, gets rid of it quickly, and they got him. What a play. Wow. They'll probably check to make sure the foot is on the base, but that's a, a great play. Good range, got a lot on the throw. They are going to check to make sure Marte kept his foot on the base. That's in the outfield grass. That baseball is going to stay low. Got rid of it quickly, and a lot on the throw. Looked like he got him. Yeah, easily got him. Yep. No challenge from the Athletics. Here comes Mike Sosha once again. What a play! He's done it all. The youngster. Back to the bullpen we go, and it'll be Blake Parker coming on to get that final out. Three games set. Four three is the score. Parker has it pitches last Sunday at Cleveland. Went one inning in that one. He's going to face Stephen Piscotti, the right fielder, who tonight is 0 for 3. 51st game for Parker, 2 on 1 mark at a 3.31 ERA. 10 saves on the year, 58 strikeouts, and 51 and two third innings. Pitch breaking ball misses. What a play by David Fletcher. Just great range. Man, the transfer was excellent. Exactly. Yeah. 
Two balls, no strikes. Good scouting, good power, 15 home runs on the season. Crowd tonight, 42,722. Hand on Vladimir Guerrero bobblehead night. <laughs> 91 mile per hour fastball. Three and one. Mark Canna is on deck, and that's where you'd like to leave him. You let him think about his at bat tomorrow night. Cued over to Fletcher. Should do it. David's got it. Right there, baby. Up as the Angels take the opener against the Athletics by the final of 4-3. to three. Oh, What a game once again by these two. Oakland and the Angels. Another close one-run game as the Angels come all the way back. Justin Upton. Now it's time for our Land Rover above and beyond player of the game. Two-run home run for Jay Up. Three games in a row with a two-run home run for Justin Upton as the Angels win game one of this three-game set against Oakland. Pick up a game on the Oakland A's in that wild card race. Cole Calhoun also went yards. The bullpen tonight for the Angels, excellent. Felix Pena threw the ball well, and David Fletcher, what a game, both swinging the bat and fielding out at second base. Jim Johnson picks up the win in relief through a whopping four pitches, picks up the W. Felix Pena settled down and uh, kept the team in there even after giving up the three runs in that first inning. And you mentioned that bullpen is Blake Parker eventually closes it out for the Angels. What a performance by Justin Anderson. All the runs tonight. Perfect night seven. on Vladdy's night to yeah. be able to come back like this. No doubt. All home runs for the uh, seven total runs combined between these two teams. Halo's now game over 500 at 59 and 58. Justin Upton once again with that home run, putting the Angels in the lead for good. He's down on the field with Alex Curry. Justin, it's always a close one when you're playing Oakland. Is there a different energy or mindset when you're facing a division rival that you guys are trying to catch in the standings? Um, I mean, every game's important, but, um, you know, we had a great crowd tonight, uh, a lot of energy in the stadium, and uh, we were able to fight back. It's all about the long ball. Your third straight game, you've hit a two-run home run. What's been your approach in the box? Because it's been working. Well, just got to get strikes, get balls in the zone that, uh, that you can handle. And, you know, honestly, uh, you know, I've gotten a few of those the last few days, and it's you know, it's just been great. Cole Calhoun got you guys on the board. He's really been the compact kid this season. What's it been like to watch Cole turn his season around? It's been great. Um, you know, Cole's a guy who, who comes to the, the ballpark with energy every day, um, tries to help the team. And, you know, anytime a guy can turn around the way, he's, uh, way he has this year, uh, that just says something about the person. So uh, we're, we're, we're happy he's back. Congrats on picking up the win. Thank you. Angels pick up game one against Oakland, a final of four to three, thanks to a couple two-run home runs, but don't go anywhere because we'll break it all down next on Angels Live right here on Fox Sports West.